We felt that it was the first time that the world would get a chance to see the real core of the athletes in terms of them being concerned about humanitarian issues. Well, my name is John Carlos. Track and field used to be my game. Born and raised in Harlem, New York. Traveled the world and still trying to get people's attention. Well, it was a very simple protest. Uh, we felt that the way to get people's attention was through shock treatment. The demonstration itself consisted of uh, three individuals, Tommy Smith, Peter Norman, and John Carlos. The artifacts that was involved in the demonstration was a black glove, uh, beads on one's neck, a black scarf on one's neck, a black shirt to cover up the USA jersey. Uh, my uniform was open to illustrate that I was concerned about the blue collar workers of this nation that's always forgotten. We wore shoeless socks out there to demonstrate that people of color was very poor and the greatest nation in the world and didn't go to the moon and land a rocket ship a half a mile from where they said they were going to land, but they couldn't stop hunger or, or rodents or roaches or what have you from the, the ghettos of America. We were demonstrating bigotry, prejudice, bias, mayhem, and the only vehicle that we had was through our endeavors on the athletic field. We felt it was very necessary to go out there and make a statement that would be universal. For all these individuals to make statements now, these individuals are the fruit of our labor. We know the consequence of being black in this nation, and we have a very serious ill that these individuals are stepping up to the plate now to say it's not about my wealth. It's not about my status as an athlete or an entertainer. It's about my life and my history that I want to have corrected. My advice to speaking out against the atrocities is to stand fast for what you believe in, study what you're fighting for, why you're fighting for it, and what you're looking for in the long run, the outcome. The Hall of Justice moves slower than a snail's pace, but that still should make you have a, a vigorous drive towards correcting the ills of society. <laughs>